Hi, this is Craig from CraigColvin.com. Today we're going to be photographing the smoke coming off the filaments of light bulbs. So let's talk about the setup for this. Uh, I have a big soft box here directly behind my light bulb. Uh, and I put a black gobo uh, onto the softbox face. Uh, what that does is that allows us to have a black background and the light wrapping around the sides here are going to highlight the edges of our light bulb, just the edges of the glass. Okay, let's talk about the box that I use to control the light bulb. It's just a wooden box I constructed. I added a light switch and a dimmer and a socket to hold the light bulb. Uh, it just has a circuit box underneath and it's wired up. The wiring on how to do this is found on my website. So it's a very simple construction here and the idea is just to, so we can control the voltage that goes to the light bulb and slowly ramp it up. Now let's talk about how I break the light bulb. Uh, I start off with a clear light bulb. I put it in a Ziploc bag so I don't have glass flying all over the place. And then I put it on a hard surface like this and just hit it with the hammer lightly. Uh, sometimes it takes several hits to get it. But all the glass, as you can see, is uh, contained in the plastic bag. I carefully take it out and examine the filament. Uh, sometimes the filament will break on this and you will have to do multiple times, uh, try this on multiple bulbs to get it right. So this one's good, we're ready to go. Now the other technique uh, that I use is where I keep an intact bulb, uh, but I break the vacuum in it. And what this happens is when the filament burns, it's going to fill up the globe with smoke. Now in order to do this, I use a drill to drill a hole in the base of the bulb and drill through the glass, breaking that vacuum. Uh, now it'll sometimes take several attempts to do this. It, uh, the drill bit likes to wander. It'd be much easier in a drill press, uh, but I'm using a handheld drill here. So I drill the hole and it breaks through the glass there, breaking the vacuum. Now when I put this in the base, I'm going to get a nice image like this with the smoke uh, clearly visible captured inside the globe. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about the setup that I use for shooting these photos. I put my camera on a tripod. I be sh I'm sure to turn off the image stabilization on any lens, and I set manual focus, focused right on the light bulb. Now, the light bulb is between the camera and the strobe. The strobe is pointing directly at the camera. And I want it lined up with it so that black gobo that's taped to the front of the softbox is also directly behind the light bulb. Uh, it's just a simple matter of it turning on the electrical, uh, getting the filament to burn and smoke, and start taking a lot of photos. So here it is in action. I install my bulb into the box. I then flip the switch with the dimmer turned all the way down, and then I slowly rotate the dimmer until I get the filament to burn. Now this is going to happen very quick, so you want to be ready and take as many photos as you can right as soon as the filament has burned. Here it is one more time. As you can see, I'm taking lots of photos as I wait for it to flare up and smoke. This one generates a lot of smoke. The slower you go, the more smoke you're going to get. You're going to have to use a lot of light bulbs when doing this technique. Uh, some of them, when you break them with the hammer, you're going to destroy the filament and you're just going to have to discard that bulb. Same thing when you're drilling through the base. Sometimes you will drill too far and actually clip one of the wires and that bulb will no longer work. Then once you get it all set up, uh, you want to get the best looking smoke inside the globe and above it. So you're going to do lots of different times. So as I said, I buy my bulbs in bulk online uh, and go through quite a few whenever I set up to do one of these shoots. So as you can see, it's a fairly straightforward setup for capturing the smoke coming off of the light bulb, bulb filaments. Uh, if you have any questions about it, I do have more information on my website, craigcolvin.com. You can also contact me there to ask any questions. 
Uh, I have my email, my Twitter, Google+, I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have about the setup and how to do this on your own. I'd also love to see any photos you do of this, so send them to me and uh, hope you enjoy.